Your first alert forecast temperatures up a couple degrees. We have warm one more warm sunny day. That's the key before we start seeing and then feeling some changes. So we end up with this warmer morning. A few clouds moving around early, some stray fog starting out around 51 degrees. Let's say don't fool with the jackets going to get in your way real quick as we have these few clouds drifting by the stray fog early and then a beautiful clear afternoon. Uh, now later tonight is when we start seeing those clouds roll in. So it's still going to be warm tomorrow but it comes with more clouds then a couple of showers. You can see spotty already plateau Tennessee Kentucky line first thing tomorrow morning. So all the more reason to enjoy today's sunshine. That'll take us really with a quick warm up from sunrise just after seven going from 51 degrees to 75 at noon. Your high today 81. We tied the record high as forecast in your first alert forecast yesterday. We're doing it again. This is also the record high for Knoxville currently for this date, and we're forecasting you to hit 81. So that'll take you to 75 at noon, high today 81, low 70s this evening with those extra southwesterly winds still 10 to 15 miles per hour and gusts around 20 miles per hour, pumping everybody up a few degrees warmer. That means we have more upper 70s to low 80s today. So everybody's warmer today before we start to see and feel changes. That'll take you to 82 in Loudoun. Forecast where you live in Knoxville, 81, along with Oak Ridge. At 79 today, Rockwood to 77, Crossville and Jamestown. Zoomed in so you can find your town. That'll be 78 in La Follette to Middlesbrough. Harlan, you're high today, 76. That's 79, Morristown to 81 and Pigeon Forge. So yes, again, sunny and warm. Now tomorrow's still warm, more than 10 degrees above average but it's not sunny anymore. So it's breezy with more clouds and yes, still on the warm side. As we start out at 65 degrees, I think we actually cool in the middle of the night just ahead of those clouds and then start warming already. And that'll take us into those 60s first thing in the morning. That's because of that cloud cover, though. We'll hang out around 75 throughout your afternoon. Again, we'll have some isolated showers. So let me map it out for you in your first alert future cast. Mostly cloudy views, a couple of showers again on the plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line first thing in the morning. Seven to eight spotty rain still dancing along that Tennessee Kentucky line and up in the Smokies. We'll actually keep it very stray in the valley, but still trying to get those to develop and drop in. The humidity levels are still trying to go up, so that's part of this transition. So again, more of a stray shower down into the valley. Spotty rain outlining the valley throughout the day tomorrow. Still a lot of clouds until later tomorrow night. That's when we have that rain really moving in, spreading out. I've moved us up to about an 80% coverage of our area. Look at this, pausing around 6 a.m. Friday. Most of our area at least getting light to moderate rain with some isolated heavier downpours. So we carry that in early morning. A lot of this is light to moderate, but with a few good downpours here, this is also going to spread out a bit during the day. Late morning to midday, just slowly bringing in more rounds of rain, and that'll help to just kind of spread out that rainfall. Something we really have been lacking lately is a good consistent flow of rain. It does go from rainy to showers by the afternoon to evening. More scattered, very lighter showers here, spotty by the end of the day, and we'll have some clouds left over after that. So I wanted to show you how much rain is coming through because this is always what everybody wants to know. How much can I expect, right? Just a couple hundreds of those spotty showers on Thursday, and then we're looking to collect a good quarter to a half an inch in parts of our area for Friday. Still still seeing some isolated higher amounts along the plateau and parts of the valley to the mountains, and that'll roll through on Friday, rolling down our temperatures now a little faster. I think we'll officially have a high around 60 at midnight on Friday, cool to the mid 50s by the morning, down to 50 in the afternoon, but at least the weather calms down for this weekend while we feel that cool down on into next week.